Yo, what is going on boys? Sup, just coming back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to gain more confidence in Arena. Now, I know this season has been pretty different just because we don't have the pump shotgun in the game, and that has definitely taken a toll on my confidence in Arena, but I found some ways to work past it, and I'm here to share with you guys some ways that I've learned how to gain more confidence while fighting in Arena. If you guys haven't yet, be sure you guys smash that sub button down below, join the sub zeros. We're literally less than 600 away from 10k, and all subs are greatly, greatly appreciated. But with all that being said, let's get right into the video. Okay, so starting off this video, a major struggle I had in Arena was actually learning how to fight without the pump. And a great way to learn how to actually fight with a different shotgun, such as the charge and the attack, is actually by practicing with it in creative. Unfortunately, the lever action shotgun isn't in creative, so you can't really practice with that. But in the Skovax aim training map, I've been using Reaction FS with the charge and the attack. You can practice with whatever you use most in Arena. Usually, I practice my aim with the attack just because that's what I use most. But it's always good to practice with the charge as well, just because of those early game situations where you don't really get to pick and choose which guns you have. Now there is a bunch of other scenarios in Skovax to actually practice your shotgun aim, but I found that this one works the best because it helps with reaction and click timing with pretty much any shotgun. Basically this scenario just shoots a bunch of bots at you that fly across the screen and you just have to try and hit them before they fall to the ground where they die. I've showed this a couple times in some videos in the past, but I figured I'd bring it up again because of the shotgun meta actually being completely different than it used to be, and I always try and keep this scenario in my warm routine right before I play arena. Because we all know hitting your shotgun shots is way more crucial now especially in those 50 50 situations so i recommend playing this about 10 to 15 minutes a day right before you hop into an arena game this is a great way to become more confident in those 50 50 situations Okay, so the next tip I have for you guys is for everyone struggling during mid-game fights, and that is to practice in realistic 1v1s. Now, before you guys put down in the comments below that I repeat this all the time, yes, I do, but it's for good reason. Realistic 1v1s are probably one of the most important practice methods when it comes to fighting in arena. Now, I've kind of moved away from playing matchmaking in realistic 1v1s, and I've actually joined a Discord server called Fortnite Ranked, and this has boosted my confidence a lot because it actually puts you up against people of your similar skill level while working your way up through the ranks. This is going to give you a lot more competitive fights during realistic 1v1s, making you a lot more confident when you're in actual games with mixed skill levels, and giving you a huge confidence boost when you're fighting people of similar and higher skill levels. Not to mention Fortnite Ranked actually has over 170,000 members in it, so there's a lot of different players when it comes to fighting different skill levels. Now, when it comes to actually playing realistic 1v1s, make sure you always practice with the current shotgun meta. So right now, it's the attack and the charge. That way, you always have an idea of how to fight when it comes to a real arena game. And when you're actually fighting in arena, just picture yourself fighting in a realistic 1v1. I found that that really helps calm my nerves when I'm in a fight against a really good player. Another thing I've been doing is also 1v1ing some of my friends who are better than me. I usually get pooped on most of the time, but the reason you want to fight people who are better than you is so you can learn from them. So always just be aware of what they're doing in the fight and try and learn from that and see how you can counter it. Because a lot of times I used to find myself just kind of being a drone and not really thinking about what I'm doing while I'm fighting. And fighting someone who's better than you forces you to constantly be thinking about your decisions during that fight. For instance, one of my friends actually has zero ping. So I know when he's trying to take my wall, I'm never going to get it. So I've had to figure out ways to actually escape the situation and rebox up. McDonald's ping sucks, man. So just make sure you do enough realistic 1v1s to where you feel comfortable and you fought enough people with different play styles to where you have a good idea of who you're going up against in arena. Okay, so my third tip for you guys is to find a consistent warm-up routine. Now, I've made a couple videos on how to warm up and some decent warm-up routines that I use, but I would honestly work your warm-up routine around what you're doing bad at. Recently, I had been choking a lot of edits. I've actually been spending a lot more time in edit courses so I can get that muscle memory down and learn how to edit faster and more consistently. But for instance, if you're struggling with something like peace control, then there's a bunch of creative maps that you guys can actually use to practice that, and you should always spend the most time in your warm-up routine focusing on what you need work on and so since i was actually struggling with edits recently that's what i put the most time into on my warm-up routine and a great way to figure out what you're struggling with is to actually go back and vod review your clips to see how you're dying in games so for instance if you keep dying by a third party in the middle of your games try and find a creative scenario that can help you practice protecting yourself more while you're in fights. A great creative scenario for this is actually PvP box fights because it puts multiple players in a box fight and it's pretty much a free for all. So there's gonna be constant third parties after you and you're forced to protect yourself. So when you're actually put in that situation in an arena game, you're gonna be a lot more confident when the actual situation arises of being third party. I honestly used to think VOD reviewing didn't really help at all, but after I started doing it, I realized that it's actually a huge part to improving your gameplay. 
Now, when you're actually fighting people in arena, I know it's very easy to lose confidence in yourself. And the fourth and final tip I have for you guys when fighting in arena, trying to gain confidence, is you need to automatically assume that the other player is worse than you. Now, I'm not saying to go and full on W key someone who is absolutely out of their mind at Fortnite. But for instance, if you're in mid game and you see your opponent, don't just sit down there and box up. You want to engage and show them that you're not scared to fight. Because if your opponent knows that you're scared, they're going to take advantage of that and they will likely win the fight. So always try and find ways to play aggressively, but also smart at the same time. And this takes lots of practice and creative, and also in arena as well. And for anyone trying to master this, I really would say to not pay attention to your points, because you can always gain them back, and worrying about your points can really bring you down, especially if you keep dying a lot. Because sitting down and just camping in arena might help in the short term, but in the long term you're not actually becoming a better player. And over time, actually trying to take fights with the intent to fight as many people as possible, is going to help you become way more comfortable in arena and also tournaments as well. But again, this takes lots of practice and it's not just going to happen overnight. You have to put the time in. Thank you guys all for stopping by and watching this video. Be sure you guys drop a like down below if any of these tips did help you guys gain some more confidence in arena. Because I'm always looking for feedback from you guys. But again, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.